the mop quip. Governor Christie called that just a joke. And he had to take back another quip, too. This one, insulting the mayor of North Wildwood, who he called crazy for saying his town had worse flooding than Sandy, adding, quote, his town didn't get hit by Sandy, so of course it's worse than Sandy. The governor today said he went one adjective too far and has apologized. I got carried away last night at a town hall meeting. It is not the first time um, that I've gotten carried away and said something that I later apologized for. It doesn't happen often, but it happens. And so I called Patrick this morning privately, and I called and, and apologized to him. He accepted my apology. I understand that he told the press that I apologize. It's fine with me. Um, that wasn't the reason for my apology. The reason for my apology was because I really felt badly about it. For today's NJTV News question, have you been able to get back to your regular routine following the storm? Share your thoughts with us on our Facebook page or tweet us. Absolutely not. So I commute from Jersey City. Uh, the PAVS train is completely shut down. I had to catch the uh, number one bus. So Monday it took me like two hours to get to work. Today was a little better, so there's some hope. Pretty much trying to get to school, the buses and the rules are blocked. But they cleaning it up, so it's good. What happened to your phone? Oh my God. Um, I was getting a ride from my boyfriend at work and I uh, dropped it in the snow, tried to go back, somebody picked it up, stole it. It's just not in my routine yet. Support for the Medical Report is provided by Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield of New Jersey, an independent licensee of the Blue Cross and Blue Shield Association. Doctors and pharmacists are increasingly sharing patient information through hyper-secure electronic medical records. They're meant to ensure better patient care at lower cost, but there's an unintended consequence. EMRs can make your personal information more vulnerable to hackers. But a new partnership is aiming to prevent those cyber attacks. Michael Hill reports. Joe Carr welcomes the state and healthcare industry partnership to protect the 200 plus members of his New Jersey Hospital Association against cyber threats and hacking. Boy, that kind of support is really important for us. The newly formed New Jersey Cybersecurity and Communications Integration Cell, called New Jersey Kick, is the state's one stop shop for cyber threats, attacks, analysis, and incident reporting. It's under the state Homeland Security Department. It has 19 state and hundreds of public and private partners with which it shares information. Today it reached out to an industry that analysts have said has been slow to adapt to new security technologies, hospitals and healthcare. So it's partnered with the National Health Information Sharing and Analysis Center. What are your capabilities? How quickly are you able to track someone down if they hack or something like that? So we have automated information and intelligence sharing. So if we're seeing something hitting our networks here in the state, we can on an immediate basis share that tactical information with our members. The goal here is that through information sharing, they can detect cyber threats and thwart them and ultimately prevent them. State Homeland Security Director Chris Rodriguez says it takes more than 200 days for a company to realize it's been hacked and two thirds of all cyber breaches target patients and relatives personal information in medical and healthcare records. As the healthcare sector is also digitizing a lot of patients information and putting that information um, increasingly on different mobile devices in order to connect and for cost efficiencies, the healthcare sector's attack surface is increasing. The state says New Jersey Kick has no interest in collecting anyone's personal information or any company's proprietary information. We're interested in cyber threat indicators, very technical oftentimes, uh, indicators of compromise that, that identifies how attackers are actually defeating security controls or exploiting vulnerabilities in, in your technology. The acting state health department commissioner says the partnership is imperative. It's always a concern and we do want to be very cognizant that the techniques and the utilizations of different types of information can be evolving and that's why things like the NJ kick make so much sense. Joe Carr says considering what's at stake, it takes a team to tackle it. You're, you're on an island, right? So the more minds you can get who are in a similar 
vote than you that have expertise that can all bring something to the table and then have that same expertise at a higher level at the state government who's not only seen it for this for healthcare but other sectors that's that's amazing nj kicks message hackers beware michael hill nj tv news